Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT, Donna, my t explosives with Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. Yes, we are. Playing that man 20. Yes, sir. 20, yes, I am the man on the stick. 20, did I say, didn't I say that? Yeah, but I said, yes, we are. Oh, well, yeah, dude, I mean, I'm not we pants. are. It's I'm all focused. Of us. It's all of us. Dude, it's season two, week one of the Browns, bro. <laughs> <laughs> got in here, dude. I did the things, dude. Made everybody do their stuff. I I know you had some some alone time with with your your edited videos. Yeah, dude. It was it was good. I, I watched them all. Yeah, I bet you did. I did. Both. Uh, the part where you were speaking. The part where I talked about your Twitch channel at the end. No, you didn't. I did too. Shut your mouth. Blah, I I made like a what few a... of them. At least half of them I remember to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine, dude. Yeah. You're... You're a sweetheart. Yeah, dude, I want to get Pause. people out there on the on the old Dynamite Twitch. Uh, I don't know if it worked, but it may have. Yeah, if you are, all of a sudden have more, dude, it's all me. No. <laughs> yeah. I doubt it. Yeah, so, but just for you guys to watch the first season into the second, I'm trying to think what I did. I drafted a new fullback, I think. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, Franklin. Uh, I drafted a couple new uh, wide receivers, maybe. I don't remember. I did a lot of stuff. Uh, um, so it is a different team, though. Huh? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's still. I'm still. Ah. There we go. Menus. Yeah, dude. I was just gonna show uh, show people who the new wide receivers were. Oh, sure. It's a uh, Raymond and Love. Yeah, Jarius Raymond Ooh. and uh, Nazir Love. Ooh. And then yeah, that, so those are the only two wide receivers, and we have a new fullback, but everybody else is the same. S somebody switched their names. It should be Nazir Raymond. And Raymond and Jarius Love. Jarius Love is a yeah, good dude, name. <laughs> Jarius Love is like a. Uh, it's like a. Oh, he a, slapped it down. It's like a televangelist name. Yeah, it is. I'm Jarius Love, and I'm here to save your soul. Said, oh, tell the congregation. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever watch any of those uh, televangelists? Uh, I have watched one before. Like, Which it, one? It, it, it is uh, uh, 700 Club. No, that's okay. not one. No, uh, who was the? Kenneth Copeland? I don't know. I watched something, but it is. Some of them really get it, dude. They're out what there. What do you mean they really get they're it? They're just out there just like screaming to the Lord, dude. They they're really get the. It. So there was one in Cleveland. It was Ernest Angley. Oh, he was on TV? Yeah, he was on TV and he had the healing line. I don't know if you remember this. This what? was. You don't remember the healing line? I do not. This was. It came on. It was like. It was local. Okay, so Ernest actually, he was like, he kind of looked like uh, Paul Bear a little bit. Oh, God. He kind of looked like Paul Bear. Like, a, was he a white dude, black dude? Undertaker. Okay. Oh, okay. That oh, Paul so Bear. he like, looked just like that dude. Yeah, he looked like Paul Bear. And uh, he had a church. It was in, I think, Akron or whatever. And he would have a bunch of people line up, and they would come up, and they would stand before him, and they would say, I have this problem with my foot. Or I have arthritis. Oh, is that where he like pushes him in the head and, and he'd like, be like fall over? Yeah, and he would just like heal, and he just like shock him real quick and heal, and then like some of them would fall over, some of them would just stand there, and then he'd send them on their way. I haven't seen that exact one, but I have actually. Well, let me get the power of the Lord, and, he, and they like fall over and like dance and ish, dude. <laughs> Dude, I like, I can't get into anything. You can't get anything? No, no. no, dude, I don't get that excited about anything. <laughs> you, you do! <laughs> I could say that the dishes are clean and you'd get excited. Dude, it's a different level. I mean, you you don't have faith in, in religion, maybe. I don't have faith in anything. <laughs> Oh, this your love out here getting TV. All right. I mean, okay, look, I I, I guess I'm not, I, I've been to churches where they've done that before, you know. Yeah, listening. that's, I just, dude, okay, go ahead. I've, oh, dude, it's fine. I've had trouble with it before, but, you know, for the most part. You had trouble? Like, what do you mean? Okay, look, I, I usually don't like to talk about exes, but I dated this one girl, and I swear, like, she was just, like, faking it one time. Like, faking like the Lord? Yeah, she was faking, like a the, lot of people faking the Holy it. Ghost. I, f I feel a lot of people fake it. You think a lot of people fake the Holy he Ghost? Like, like, I can't imagine like going in somewhere and having to do push me in the face, and then I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god! And, 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 
saved. I'm here. I'm saved. I'm Jesus. I don't get it, dude. I'm like, I'm not trying to talk ish, dude. I'm not being mean. <laughs> I just don't like. I just. I can't. I don't, dude. I don't know. I can't. I don't. I don't know, dude. I don't know what <laughs> okay. it is. You, you'd have to know the degree of faith that it takes for a person to truly believe is that in that instance that they are, they're going to feel different from that moment forward. And I think that's it. It's like, yeah. I don't believe in anything strong enough to have that feeling about anything. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. and I think it's like, um, and, and I think that's it. Like, I don't have the power of, my, my being cannot even imagine having that much faith in something. That I could like be, I could feel it enter my body if somebody like threw it at me. It would take proof, huh? Yeah. It would take some, some degree of proof. Is, dude. It would take some proof. <laughs> I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take you to take you to church, man. We're going to the Search of Scientology. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna. We'll learn. Yeah, that's all we can do is learn. As dude. soon as you figure, find out about your Satan count. Yeah. Well, I gotta take the test or something, right? Uh, yeah. We gotta watch that video too. Oh yeah, yeah. We got some Scientology <laughs> propaganda. <laughs> you need to look in. Well, I asked for it. Yeah. I like, definitely wanted it. Like, Why don't you send me some more props, dude? Dude, they, there's a church in town. I bet. Dude. I want to go to a sermon. It's a big. Uh, you're gonna get all caught up, and they're gonna like you're gonna what just you disappear get, one day, what dude. What are you talking about? I'll be like, where's TNT? He hasn't paid rent, and they're like, you're just like, you're just like, I cannot associate with you anymore, Thetanless beings. <laughs> nanu, nanu. Yeah, dude. And I'll be like, dude, where's the rent? You're like, f you, rents, rents with my brothers. <laughs> right. My Thetan counts. Actually, I'm be moving into the compound. Yeah, dude. Like, Exactly. All my all my monetary gains go to Lord whatever. I mean, I don't need money if I'm you know if I'm down with part the, of the crew, dude. Down with the clowns, just <laughs> the Church of the of Fago. I honestly, I just want to go to a sermon. I want to see if it's like a sermon, if it's like a seminar. I'm gonna bring like some macaroni and cheese. Are you gonna, just like a craft? Just a crock pot full of macaroni. No, homemade. Like oh, a, dang, dude. You're going to make real mac and cheese? It's, it's a pan of macaroni and cheese and bring it in. Like, oh, what, we not having a potluck after church? This is what my church always did. I don't know. I guess it's a black thing. Um, but, but yeah. <laughs> Always had potluck yeah, after dude. church. It was like church is going to be all day. You got to eat anyway. Well, yeah, they're going to be at church from like eight a.m. till nine p.m. But I don't, I don't know what their what their church consists of. I don't either. I don't. So I kind of want to go to a sermon. Yeah, I kind of want to go to sermons in general. I want to see what they what book they study from. Their own. Yeah, well, there's Dianetics. I don't know if we should talk about the church. Right, dude, that's what I'm trying to tell you, bro. You're like, all right, fine, fine. We're done, we're done, we're done, we're done. We're yeah, done. Dude, you don't want to do that. They'll be like, all right, we'll talk about faith some more, Jonas, you faceless motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Passion swears. I'm sorry. You even said something before the episode. Yeah, because we record the podcast where we do swear. You want to hear a foul mouse? Go listen to our podcast. Yeah. It's on the channel. It is on the channel. Yeah, it's, it's, it's getting some views, though. Yeah, it's it's getting a little good. Bit. Somebody, yeah, dude, somebody it's, checked it out. We got some twice. people that like us occasionally, dude. I don't know why. I don't either, but you know what, dude? I like them. Aw. I do, too. Danny's always in here, dude. DT. Yeah. DDT. <laughs> I wish I remembered everybody that was on the nah. list, dude. Take a while. Yeah, oh, yeah, it will take a while to remember all these folks that are up in our comments. But uh, you are appreciated. Yeah. I mean, the Golden Soldier, he's in there, dude. He's, he's watching the our The Golden stuff. Soldier. Yeah, he's in there, Danny. That's the same name, nickname I have for my junk. The Golden Soldier? Yeah. It's a nice name, dude. Thank you. I was talking about our YouTube friend. <laughs> I was talking about my package. You know, dude, one time, oh, I didn't realize that was before the half. One time, Danny said... I keep putting out videos, man, and I'm losing subs. And I said, you know what? Do it because you like it. And he's like, you like, you know what? I'm going to do that. And then he was like, I'm gaining subs. Boom. <laughs> oh, you got to have faith to faith to faith. Yeah, right? See, Jonas, you were his earnest angel. <laughs> was I? <laughs> you I like, gave him the whole, like. <laughs> he gave him the old heave-ho. Yeah, the holy heave-ho. No, oh, dude, but I figure, you know, they're probably watching this. Um, you know, I just want to give him a little, little proppy shout out because you know, dude, a little proppy shout the out. The other day, one, uh, Danny put applesauce in the comments, and I was like, what the and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and I literally was like, 
I had to ask him in the comments, did we say to put oh, yeah. applesauce? Did in? we say applesauce? Because sometimes applesauce? we'll go, put something in the comments. Yeah, 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 you, yeah, and, yeah. Like, and he was like, no, it's just good. So we must have been talking about applesauce, but I don't remember. I mean, applesauce is good. Yeah, oh, for sure. But like, I'm always like, we record so much, I don't remember anything we talk no, about. No, none of it, dude. And then and if they don't timestamp it, then then I'm like, dude, I really don't know what the hell you're talking yeah. about. And I feel bad having to... Oh, he's hanging with Mr. Look at this fast boy. So cool. Look at these fast... There's five, five men chasing a fast man. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a, a normal Saturday night here at the Crazy Town yeah, Compound. Dude. Uh, we always have guy chases. Chasing dudes, <laughs> dude. This guy chases. It's an event that we have here. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Sunday night. Time for the guy chase. <laughs> <laughs> one, dudes, dude, dude, one dude, lucky dude, dude gets dude. oiled up in Crisco and Canola. Yeah, dude. That's what you do. <laughs> no, and then we just chase them. It's like a greased up pig. Let's <laughs> grease up dude. <laughs> Five dudes chasing up a green stuff guy. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> That's weird. That's strange. It's so funny, though. I don't know. Just thinking of it. That's that's good wholesome fun. Yeah, dude. That's From the 90s. <laughs> good wholesome. These people are. This is some good wholesome fun. Yeah, dude. I can't run for ish against these boys. Ten rushes, nine yards. Do you like your applesauce with cinnamon or without? Uh, I'm very picky about applesauce. Yeah, you said you don't like cooked fruit. Yeah, like applesauce is a little different. It's not. It's cooked. It is cooked, but like yeah. it's weird because like I don't like like Mott's applesauce, like jarred okay. applesauce. Like my grandma's applesauce was great. I, she, I would she made eat, from I would scratch. Eat bowls and bowls and bowls of it. What? She made it from yeah, scratch. Yeah, yeah, back in the day. Okay. And, but like any jarred applesauce, I tend to not like all that much. Oh, I just had to get my run on a different way. Bow! Oh, grandma Tarkin, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> they're good on the perimeter, but they're not good up the center. Your grandmother's applesauce? Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. All right, it fair is very, you know, very honestly, good. I'd have to say is that I've never encountered a person that made applesauce from scratch. My I didn't even did. know you could do that. Yeah, she would. I don't even know how. I thought you needed a, like a special distillery or something to do no, that. No, she used to make it. In a, she would, uh, you know, she would can a lot of stuff when I was younger, like stewed tomatoes, peaches. She would can her applesauce. Yeah, and, like, you had that like, grandma, huh? She'd be like, just go down to the cellar and get a can of applesauce, a jar of applesauce. She had a whole cellar full of, like, all sorts of stuff. How do you make applesauce? I'm sure you've watched her do it no, before. No, I never did. You I don't know how it. she got it? I don't know how she made it, now. Yo, what if she was just, like, pouring Mott's in the jar? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't taste like Mott's. It tastes no, good. I know, I know. I guess. No, she, but it, ha it definitely had some sort of... You know, I, I like, I have, I need to call her because she just got home today anyway. Um, I talked to her earlier. I'll call her later. I'm gonna ask her like, not like to give me the recipe, but like, I imagine, I, I imagine what, I imagine what you do. If my guess is, you probably peel the apples, Dimmons. and you probably take all the seeds out, and then you probably just boil them forever. Or do you just do you mash them up? Do you like, because you can boil them till they're soft and then like mash. That's them up, I maybe. imagine what you do. Or you bake them forever, yeah, and then you mash them, yeah. and you put stuff in them, and then you yeah. get them hot. There's something like that. I don't. Yeah. I, I mean, I imagine that's the process. Yeah, I, I kind of want to know how you make how you make apples. Now that you mention it, I, I'm thinking about my grandmother and how she used to make like uh, cobblers, and she used to always cook a lot. I kind of feel like that's a, that's kind of a lost art, man. Yeah, dude. People don't, people just go to H E B and buy pot, dude. <laughs> Dude, because you know damn well we got potluck at work. I'm stopping yeah. and getting a cookie tray. Yeah, I'm gonna get some cookie or a veggie or a veggie tray. Yeah, because I'm not cutting anything. I up. don't want to be mean, but like I ain't gonna like I ain't doing work stuff outside of work time, man. Like I ain't making a pot pie. You cook though. I cook for me. Yeah, I, I cook mean, for well. people. I, I'm gonna say something like it seemed like I didn't care about people. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't give a crap. You cooked me stuff before. Yeah, I cook, I, dude, I, I always will share my foods, dude. I, I, if I cook something, anybody Screw everybody who, who I give who I give an ish about can have all the food they want, man. Oh. <laughs> Which one of these girls you refuse to cook for? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we ain't together no more. You, know, you always notice that one girl who you ain't quite giving 100% to. Um, Aww, I try to give 100% to all of them. Uh, yeah, you're a different animal. 
But I do think that uh, the the art of the grandma cooking or the grandma like doing a Thanksgiving type thing or the grandma you like go over her house and she's already got the food on the stove. I kind of feel like that's kind of a lost art. Uh, yeah, dude, because I think what another lost art is is a lot of like families don't get together anymore like that. Like my well, family yeah. does. My family used to have that ish all the time. But then now the kids that are my age, like yeah. my cousins that would be. We all live out of state and out of city and out of whatever, so we ain't getting together. I know, but there are like there's younger families. <laughs> yeah, no, my uh, my families sister. that are in that age range where they would go to like a family of members. Oh yeah, my grandma's too. sister. Um, until like COVID was having a has family family dinner every Sunday. Like her kids come over. Oh, She's so like eighty either. something. Her kids come over who are in their fifties. Like and their kids come and they have like a family afternoon dinner sort of deal. Oh, uh, that's just like an exception to the rule. I'm wondering like because I remember when I was like twelve years old. I would be Sunday we go and see. I'd eat applesauce or you'd eat all applesauce. sorts of stuff. <laughs> yeah, dude. I just I don't know if that's still going on. My like, grandma make cheeseburgers all the time. Yo. Your grandmother was throwing down. Dude, yeah. They were right. Those, those cheeseburgers. I would show up at like 10 p.m. with like some friends. She cooked cheeseburgers. You take so. Squeak over there. <laughs> You'd be like, yeah. those cheeseburgers, dude. <laughs> I'm like, they're good. I can't. Cheeseburgers. Uh, I think my grandmother, like, that's the last time I probably had like catfish. Because my oh, yeah. grandfather was a fisherman. So he'd like go out and catch fish. And he'd just like fish on the lake here. <laughs> 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 he had a boat, dude. We eat that nasty ish. <laughs> my uh, my cousin still uh, my cousins go and fish at uh, in Lake Pomatuming. Go get walleye and stuff. Oh, okay. He might have. He might have gone there too. He went to a bunch of different places. Yeah, but... Maya. Like every time I come home, my grandma usually cooks walleye for me because you can't really get walleye here. And what down south? Yeah, walleye is like a, a Great Lakes fish. It's a freshwater. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So like that. my grandma would be like, "Oh, I got some, I got some walleye." I'm like, "Oh yes, dude." I don't even really. I never cared for fish much, but walleye is really good. I don't know if I have a preference. I kind of oh, like. Shiza. I kind of like saltwater fish a little bit better. Ooh, what, what is you doing? That was one of the glitches. Was it? Yeah, you missed it. No, you should have let it go. I didn't. He's just like crawling around. No, that was one of the glitches. Yeah, I don't know if I, I kind of like, uh, I would have to say, like, some of the best fish I've ever had, if you can even call it a fish, is shark. Like, I had shark at, uh. Oh, they, they just passed and feared me, dude. That's just free yards. That's what they do all the time in this game. I had man. sharks at, like, a, uh, like a Benihana's or something. And that, it melts in your mouth. If you get a chance to try shark, it was like Mako. If you get a chance to try shark, fry that ish. It was the yeah, most dude. amazing thing. You know what I started eating lately is raw fish sushi. Really? Good for you. Look at you exploring your, your taste really profile. It's good, dude. Expanding your, your taste bud portfolio. Yeah, dude. It is good. I like uh, I like raw fish sushi. Yeah, it's pretty good. I and used to be against it and then I dated a girl and she was like trying. I was like, no. You know, just trying to play the hard age. Yeah, yeah, then you're like, oh, well, that's <laughs> actually good. Thank you. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah, this is actually pretty good, but I'm still too tough. Too tough to eat raw fish? Yeah, dude. Like, I feel like, you know, you start eating sushi, your tea gets low. <laughs> I guess you. that's been my problem. So, <laughs> that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, if you've already done that, that this dude, he does Twitch things. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's TNT. D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore crazy town at twitch.tv. Yeah, Twitch .tv. for Jonas. TNT. We'll catch you on the next one. We... Or uh, oh,